see a widget in action. Let's demo what a widget can look like. And in this case, we'll demo um, our passport widget. A passport widget is a widget that interacts with the passport contract of a PERMA page. So with um, PERMA pages, the when you publish a page, you generate the HTML of the web page, but you also deploy a smart contract that makes the PERMA page an atomic NFT. So that means that there's one kind of uh, identifier for both the web page and the smart contract. And with that, we can have uh, a widget that displays, you know, who visited your website and or your page. And then um, PERMA page users can actually go on to your page and stamp it with their, um, their wallet and uh, generate a token for them to show that they actually visited the page. So um, you may be familiar with POAP uh, from Ethereum and it's very similar to that protocol, proof of attention protocol. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's see how that works and um, hopefully gives you some insight on how kind of this widget process will work from from the creator's point of view. So if I go to Perma Pages and um, go to a page, let's go ahead and create a new page and we'll say, you know, we'll show our profile and uh, we'll change the theme to Cyberpunk. And then we see this add widget section. So we'll add a widget and we see we have the widget name the version, and then we have a description, and then we have this add widget button. So we click the add widget button, and then that's gonna put it onto our page. And um, you can see we have it down here. Now, right now with the UI, if I wanted to remove it, I just click it, I'm probably gonna improve that, but for now that's how it kind of works. And we can add the widget again, hit okay. And then um, we can just say, Showing the passport widget. Let's hope this works. Okay, so we've got our page and now we publish and we'll give it a title. Now the, the title is important with the contract because the way that permapages works is it's got to find the contract of the page. Um, so, you know, you, you need a title um, and I think it's required. So we'll just say passport test, some description and, you know, first version, right? Hit submit. And now um, I'm on a very slow connection, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. But what's happening is it's uh, creating the contract for the PERMA page, and it's also creating the, the web page on Arwe. And now that's done. So now we can go and view it. We've got our awesome cyberpunk theme. And you'll notice uh, up at the top here, anytime you add a widget, it's gonna inject this uh, wallet connector widget up at the top that'll identify this is the um, actual PERMA page ID um, and identify that. And then I'll add this connect button. And the connect button will allow for um, your visitors to connect their wallet and then interact with the widgets here. You can see we've got this uh, awesome uh, passport widget right here. Cool. So let's go ahead and connect. And we're going to use our connect. And do that. And um, 
once it's connected, our passport widget recognizes that and enables us to stamp because it's going to look at our wallet and see if we've already stamped. And if not, it'll en enable us to stamp. And then we have some details. So let's go ahead and stamp um, on this page. So we're, we're stamping our passport. And, uh, you know, it, 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 I'm on a slow connection, but it is pretty fast compared to, um, you know, trying to run smart weave contracts on the layer one using a uh, bundler and warp is pretty fast and, and we've stamped it. So, so that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, and then uh, you can view some, some details, which basically shows you everybody that has stamp their page um, and uh, we have more work to do with the the passport um, widget but that should give you the basics and you know kind of show you where widgets show on the screen and um, you can see that this widget we're we're you know mixing with the ui so i've used cyberpunk ui if i go and edit this and change the theme to um, coffee, right? Then my widget should reflect that look and feel. So it should move from the cyberpunk look and feel to the coffee look and feel. So I don't think I've used coffee theme before, so we'll see how that looks. So let's go ahead and click the link and cool. And hopefully it should uh, show that there's one stamp. Have to see why it doesn't do that. But let's go ahead and connect. I think I know why it's not doing that. But, but anyway, hopefully you get the, the idea of how widgets are working. Um, towards the end of the week, we'll be releasing the Passport widget and um, we'll have all that functionality kind of connected. And um, yeah, I think that's a bug too. And um, yeah, you'll be able to go and drop Passport widgets on your Perma page and invite users to come and, and stamp your page. And then you'll be able to see, and I think if I just refresh this for a second, um, we should be able to, let's go ahead and connect. Yeah, see the details. Yeah, and you can see that I stamped the page, cool. All right, so that's the demo. Um, hopefully this has been helpful and gives you an idea of how to get started. Right now the template is in Svelte, but I hope to build templates for other frameworks like Preact and uh, Vue and Solid um, and Lit um, so that you, know, you can really have a choice of frameworks to build widgets in, templates. Um, if you want to build a template, let me know. I'll be happy to help you build it. It's pretty easy. And I uh, hope you have a great uh, time in this contest and time have a great time building widgets. It's uh, super fun. Thanks.